In this video, we will be learning how to use a photopolymer plate for printing. The plate is made of a polymer that changes its properties when exposed to light. You will be able to achieve the effect of embossing or the more subtle three-dimensional effect of letterpress printing from designs created by the computer or by hand onto mylars. Additionally, to making plates for fine art printing, polymers are also used in the dental and medical field and 3D printing. The plates which we will be using in this demo were bought at Boxcar Press and are the metal backed 152SB letterpress plates. Here are the things that you'll need for this part of the demo. You'll need a clean piece of paper, the box marked polymer plates, a brush, talcum powder, and tape, possibly a pencil or pen, your mylar, as well as cardboard chips. Now you're going to take your plates out of the black box. It's marked polymer plates. They're all going to be cut five by seven. And when you're done taking your plate out, put the rest of the plates back in the black box and return it to the flat file. Here is your plate and the polymer plate, remember, is light sensitive. So be very careful with it. There is a gold side and as well as on the back is the silver side. You are always going to be working not on the silver side, but on the golden side, which is photosensitive. First, you're going to take off the mylar to make sure that you can work with the plate. So keep that mylar because you can use it to protect it later. At this point, it's really important not to touch it. You're going to make sure that your mylar is sized correctly to the size of the plate. Then you're going to take your talcum powder. The talcum powder acts as a resist so that when you put the plate onto the exposure unit, it does not stick to the mylar. Here I'm brushing a little bit of talcum powder across the surface multiple ways so that I get the talcum powder evenly distributed. Now your plate is ready to expose. You're going to go to the exposure unit. Notice the golden side right now is facing up, but because the light source will be coming from below, make sure that the golden side will be facing the opposite direction. I like to prep the area so I know where I'm putting the plate and the mylar, where I'm putting tape around the plate. You can do this before using the actual plate if you have other ones pre-exposed and washed out. Again, this is so I can make sure I know where everything is aligned. You can also use blue tape. It doesn't matter what kind of tape as long as you can see it. Now that I have used that tape and made a rectangle, I want to make sure that the exposure unit is clean of dust because that will expose. Put the mylar emulsion side down, meaning the dark side down. Put it, you can tape it if you want with clear tape to the exposure unit so it doesn't move. Here I'm putting the plate down and making sure it's right on top of the mylar. If you need to, you can readjust. So here it is again, and I've used cardboard chips also on the edges or corners so that the mylar and the plate do not move. This is a secondary precaution. You do not have to do this, but I like to do it just, just to double check myself. When you're done putting the plate golden side down, you're going to put the ropes on top of it. Once you've closed the lid to the exposure unit, you're ready to set the time. Make sure the vac time is five seconds 
and the exposure time is 780 seconds. After you've set the time, push start and wait for the exposure to be completed. After the exposure is complete, now you're going to learn how to process your plate. What you'll need is a magnetic surface, which I've mounted to a backing, and I have water and a toothbrush. The toothbrush will develop your plate, meaning take off any unnecessary emulsion. As you wash the plate, you'll take about two minutes. You'll know when the plate is processed properly because there'll be no stickiness left, and that is residue from the emulsion. After the two minutes of scrubbing your plate with the toothbrush, you're going to take your plate over to the sink with the hose. The hose has more pressure, so it will actually wash out any residual emulsion. If it's still tacky, the plate, that means there's still emulsion left on the plate. You want to wash it again with a toothbrush and then drip dry it. At this point, once you have finished washing out the emulsion, you're going to net, need to let the plate dry for 24 hours. And that is so that the emulsion is properly cured. Here is your plate and whatever is silver, which is below the surface, will not print. Whatever is golden will print. So keep that in mind when you make your mylar. Remember, everything is also mirror image. After waiting for 24 hours, once the plate has sat, what you're going to do is post exposure plate. You're going to first open the lid, put the plate into the exposure unit where the image side is down, put the ropes down on top of the plate, close the lid, and then you're going to set the exposure time for 10 seconds. And basically you're just flashing it with light and you're pushing start. After that, you can start printing.